What is up everyone? Mark here and welcome to another Prepared Pantry Presents. And today I wanted to talk about this stuff. <laughs> uh, Rhode Island dressing. So um, a Rhode Island dressing that has nothing to do with the U.S. state of Rhode Island. So uh, since Rhode Island has always been my home, uh, when I saw this stuff surface on social media a few weeks ago, I knew that I was going to want to do a video on it. So I uh, imported a couple of bottles from Sweden, where it's made, um, for totally not way too much money. And uh, now uh, we're going to do a tasting. Uh, now, ostensibly, it's very similar to Thousand Island, from what I understand, uh, and, and looking at the ingredients. Uh, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, so in addition to doing a kind of generic tasting with some tater tots, uh, just plain frozen tater tots and uh, frozen waffle fries, uh, we are going to try and incorporate it in a little bit of a recipe uh, and make uh, something uh, at the end. So uh, before we get started, I just want to thank you all again so much for uh, continuing to watch the videos and continuing to support me and the channel. Uh, if you're not subscribed yet, please go ahead and do that. Click the red button down below. Make sure you also hit the bell icon so you get a notification every time I have a new video out. Um, all right, let's get right into it. All right, so we have tater tots and waffle fries to test with. So then why is this stuff called Rhode Island dressing if it has nothing at all to do with Rhode Island? Um, that's kind of the mystery, right? Uh, the Swedish company that makes it uh, has a tendency, it seems, uh, I don't know if it's characteristic of this company or uh, Swedes in general, uh, but an affinity for certain things uh, related to America and American culture. Go figure. Uh, one of them is uh, something called uh, Boston Gurkha. It's another condiment also made by the same company. Um, it's actually so widely popular and widely available that that product, uh, which literally translates to Boston Pickle, um, is actually made by a bunch of different companies and it's uh, kind of a genericized trademark uh, in that country, sort of the way we consider Band-Aid and Kleenex here in the United States. So uh, between that and the Rhode Island dressing, you have to wonder, uh, you know, what, <laughs> what are they really thinking? But uh, it's a, evidently a pretty wildly popular product and uh, pretty popular over there in Sweden. So uh, let's give it a shot. Uh, for the sake of comparison, I've included uh, Thousand Island dressing here as well as ketchup. And I've got some water just to cleanse my palate here in between. I'm going to start with a tater tot or two. It's almost like a, like a sweeter, milder Thousand Island. I'm gonna put that head to head with the Thousand Island. It's a smooth dressing. There aren't, you know, chunks of stuff in it. Whereas in Thousand Island, you can see that there's peppers and stuff in there. It's pretty close. Hmm. I definitely, I would definitely say it's like a sweeter Thousand Island. Sweeter, slightly tangier, Thousand Island. Oh, lost one. I mean, definitely good. And of course, just for comparison, some ketchup. I do love a good fry or a good tater tot with ketchup, so nothing wrong with this either. All right. So we've tried it with potato stuff. 
I, I think we might be able to do something interesting here. All right, so before we wrap things up, I kind of wanted to see what we could do with this stuff. So I've got a couple tablespoons of the Rhode Island dressing already in this bowl. And to that, I'm going to add, um, I don't know, a healthy cup, cup and a half of uh, chopped and shredded cooked chicken. And um, I may or may not add more dressing or maybe even some mayo. Uh, we'll see kind of how that goes. Um, but I do want to add a little bit of pickle. I'm just going to chop this up as small as I can. to the chicken and I think I want a little red onion in here too not a lot but it's a small red onion to begin with but I'm only going to use half of it get this mixed together and see how it looks. Now like I said I might add a little bit more dressing, I might add a little bit of mayo. I'm um, trying to make a sort of Reuben inspired uh, chicken salad sandwich here. I think it could probably use a little of both. We're going to go with a little bit of mayo, just a touch, and a little bit more of the Rhode Island dressing. All right, that looks about like what I want. So, I'm going to put down a slice of rye bread, and we're going to top it with our chicken salad. sauerkraut and a few slices of Swiss cheese. And I think I'm going to spread a little bit of mustard Dijon on the top slice of bread. Put that together. And let's see. Not too bad. Give it a taste. It's pretty good. It's got a bit more of a tangy zip that you wouldn't get uh, with regular chicken salad, for sure. Definitely not quite a Reuben, but every bit is good. All right, that's it for this one. We'll see you next time.